Hey guys, welcome back. And first of all, thank you so much for all the support in the last video. It already has 121 likes. Like, you guys killed it. I'm super happy that you guys enjoyed that video. I put a ton of time into it. It was a very much of a grind, but I love it. I think it's the favorite thing I've ever made. So I've had some people that have been asking me or that have been saying that they want to actually make some of my custom mocks and they want to try it themselves. So this is going to be a video to help you guys make your own custom mock. So we're going to do something very simple today. We're going to be working with a Brute Chieftain. This is a mega block. Bruce Chieftain. So he is a older figure, but he's also going to be very good for this. And we're going to be working with a UNSC Halo 3 Marine. And I molded this Marine, as you can see. So half of him is actually, I mean, he's just all a different plastic. He's not actually like a normal Marine that you would find in the stores. So we're going to make a really simple circular round base and have the Brute Chieftain holding up this Marine's arm and looking at it as the Marine is bleeding out on the ground. And I'm not sure if I'm going to add snow yet. We'll see as we go along. But I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to do this today. So you're going to want to take a piece of styrofoam. Now you can find this styrofoam at Home Depot. That's where I find my styrofoam. You can also find it at Menards, Target, or not Target, but you can find it at pretty much like Home Depot, Menards, uh, places like that. So I have this roll of duct tape here well not duct tape but packing tape and I'm just going to place it right down you can use anything circular that you actually want for the base and then I'm gonna go on the inside and I'm just going to trace the inside with a sharpie and get a nice perfect circle and after that we'll take our handy dandy exacto blade here and cutting a lot of the excess off so we don't have to deal with it when we cut around So now a lot of easy ways to do this is just by cutting off various pieces slowly like this and then cutting into the actual circle itself. Because you don't really want to go for the whole thing and kind of bring it around with my blades, they'll actually snap off. But you want to be careful because if one of these snap off, they could hurt you. So just depending on what blade you use, it's good to be careful. So we have our circular base all cut out to the best of our abilities just by freehanding. And basically that is where we're going to be placing the marine on one side of it, just like that. And then the Brute Chieftain is going to be up on a higher point. Now you can do this a lot of different ways. You can make it so the Brute Chieftain is standing over him with the arm or whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to make a little lip on this side and make it so he's automatically raised up on it. To do that, I'll just be using my hot glue gun and gluing the other side on and waiting a few seconds to let it dry. All right, now that we have that part done and we can make it so the brute is raised up, you're gonna kinda wanna gauge how high you want this. Do you want it to be that height? Do you want it to be less of that height? What is the thing you're looking for? So I kinda want it to be some kind of cliffy rock face they're on, which is, I normally keep my stuff rocky anyway. I'm gonna cut a little bit off of this. And then I'm also going to take my big knife and cut into this and make it kind of look a little rocky. We're going to be covering this with some material anyway, but it's good to just do a little bit of extra work like this, and it just hides up some of the blemishes. All right, so now you have the Marine standing there and the Brute over here. So you have the hard stuff pretty much done, which that was pretty easy for a little stand like this. We're gonna need to paint this now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint everything in a base coat of black, and then we're gonna add our material, which is going to be this. This is sand that I got from outside. And basically I'm gonna put PVA or white Elmer's glue on top of this, and then cover it the whole thing with the white Elmer's glue and the sand, and let it sit for around 30 to 40 minutes. First, you gotta do a black coat of paint. All right guys, now that we have the ground texture on this little base here, I'm gonna stick a Lego stud into the ground so I can remove and place this brute down or whatever other figure I wanna switch out. And also I'm gonna be taking off this Marine's arm and kind of shaving off the excess plastic so it can go in this brute's hand. <laughs> now, 
Now we're going to add some blood from where the brute actually ripped off his arm to make it just a little bit more realistic. This is an optional thing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I kind of want to, so. Have it going on the ground like that. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure you get some on the arm where it got taken out as well. <clears throat> so to put this in the brute's hand, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue so that I can take this off really easily. If I wanted to make it like that permanently, I would use super glue. And now I'm gonna add this little green tuff to it so it just has a little bit more life and vegetation. And pretty much all this is is just rope that I changed with writ dye into a different color a long time ago and we're just going to add that right there just to give it a different color instead of it all being the same kind of color you can also paint the rocks as well to uh make it look different and not just this natural sand color but i don't want to do that because that would take a lot lot longer and this is just a demonstration so you guys know how to do it that's the basic idea so you could stop right there and that thing looks pretty decent but i'm going to add some liquitex gel and basically what this does adds like snow texture to the ground and it's a good way to cover up any mistakes and make the actual terrain itself look a little bit more eye-catching than what it looks like right now. And you really don't need much of this stuff uh, for it to go a long way. I'm probably only gonna use that much and just really spread it around in this piece. And then all you do is take it and dab it around. So the paint wasn't fully dry and it got a little bit of red everywhere else, but honestly, that's fine. Uh, just make sure you wash out your brush when you're done using the Liquitex gel so it doesn't harden up. There it is, there's the small mock, but sometimes that's all you need. Uh, I thought it was a really cool little project and hopefully it gave you guys some more insight if you're trying to do this stuff all by yourself. And honestly, it doesn't have to be a ginormous mock like the last mock I just made to make something look really cool and really good. Obviously this was a demonstration and uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more about it so you can kind of do this on your own if you are trying to do this on your own. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty decent. So let me know in the comment section down below what I should make next. And thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers and for all the uh, positivity on the last couple videos it's been really nice let me know and uh, if you're new to the channel we're doing a 1k sub giveaway so once we hit 1,000 subscribers we'll be giving away something on the channel either a really cool mock like the last mock I made or even a custom figure I haven't decided yet but it's gonna be pretty cool no matter what thank you guys so much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you all in the next video peace